I think the best thing that happens when you're working is when you sort of move aside and let the process take over. I try to get out of my own way rather than sort of force anything. My name is Christopher Farr. I'm a designer of textiles and rugs. I was trained as a painter. I did fine art at Chelsea School of Art and the Slade School. I did postgraduate fine art there and taught for many years after that. I did a traveling scholarship to South America, which was very formative, to Peru. Now I find myself living in California for the last 14 years. I think it's very hard to pin down exactly what my inspiration is because it's a combination of many, many different influences of studying architecture, traveling a great deal, looking at an awful lot of art. I work in a very open-ended way. I work very differently to, if you like, a trained professional designer, and that's my fine art background showing through. So when I start, I'm not thinking necessarily of fabric or rugs. It's really art for art's sake, if you like. And I just start at one point on the paper and things develop and evolve. Prism, which is being released this year, is the result of many, many different drawings, perhaps 50 or 60, all done with a brush and black ink on very cheap paper. Prism is really very small brush strokes which move one after the other, and as the brush is loaded with more or less ink, it changes the form that the brush makes. And that's something that's very laborious and it just takes its own time to do. And I think that's very suited to printmaking and it really does show the process of light going through material and that's really what inspired me to call it prism. The sounds is much more, you'll see that it is a more flow of the brush and movement and it kind of reminded me of a musical score and hopefully they will carry the movement of the brush and the moment in time when it was created and that's very important that I want to see that urgency and freshness in the actual print. Hopefully there's a thread that runs through all my work, whatever I'm doing and whichever medium I'm working in. There's a connection, if you like, the pulse runs all the way through it. So I want people to see a kind of diversity and a unity within that diversity. And I think if people see that, then I've achieved what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm.